Hello everyone, this is Bernice from The Napping Mouse, and in today's video, I want to show you how to make this adorable 4x6 album. It is, uh, I like to call it a flipping out album, mini album, okay? And what I mean by flipping out is, um, first we're going to do all this here, and then when you open up the album, it flips out more so you have more um, area to put photos and note cards and all that stuff. Now we're going to be doing uh, some more things to this, but in this video, we're going to do the album. And then in the second video that I'm going to do, we're going to add pockets and side tucks and thing, uh, use up those scraps that we've created from making this project. Okay. Well, if you're interested, please join me and let's get crafting. <music> Okay, everyone, so the supplies that you're going to need for this project would be a 12 by 12 cardstock base. So this is going to be our base and then around three or four different other variety of cardstocks you'll need. Then you'll need a paper trimmer and a scoreboard and some embellishments, um, various embellishments that you can use, buttons, sequence. Uh, and I've got some of these cuties here, these daisies that I want to incorporate into our project. Uh, some ribbon and also twine uh, if you want to use twine, but for sure ribbon. And then you'll need a measurement sheet, which I've created this here. I don't like that. I'll have this measurement li list linked down below for you. Okay, and... Let's see, decorative punches if you like, and of course some glue. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is create our album. So this is going to be the base of our album, okay? And the paper that I'm using, or the paper pack that I'm using, is called Splendid Springtime from Recollection. This was... <clears throat> something that I got from Michael's and it was on sale at the time. And I think I paid $5 at the time, but regular price is $9.99, but not bad because you get a lot of different variety, a lot of different designs as well. So yes, so I'm choosing this here. This is our paper pack and in the paper pack, you're going to have, it's going to be a little bit bigger than uh, 12 inches. So we're going to cut that off. But save that because that is a great use for, um, sorry about that. Let me put this. Okay, finally got my little trimmer there set. So we're going to take this and I'm going to set this aside as one of our scraps. Okay, if your paper is directional, you want to make sure that you're doing this part at the top. Okay, so we're going to be scoring it at four and at eight. Again, this would be our top side here. Okay, so let's get our bone folder, score it at four, and then score it at eight. Okay, and then go ahead and rotate it. And then you're going to cut it at six inches. This mini album is going to be a four by six mini album. Okay, and for now we're going to set this aside and we are going to number well not number it we're gonna call this panel a and panel b okay go ahead and fold and burnish on the score lines okay Okay, and here we go to panel A. Make sure that the edges here are even. Okay, so for panel A, what we're going to do, let's set panel B aside for now. What we're going to do here is on panel A on the third one, okay, or the, the one to the right, we're going to measure three inches in the middle here. So let me get my, uh, my 
Oh, ruler. Sorry about that. Sometimes I have a hard time thinking and doing this at the same time. Okay. All right. And go ahead and draw a line up to the score line. Okay. So we're going to stop right here. We're going to start here and then stop right there. Set that aside. And now let's take your scissors and let's cut this. Whoops. Or cut it straight. Boy, that was not straight at all, but it's still going to work. It is still going to work. And then I erase all of my, my marks here. Okay, that's A right there. Now for B, we're going to, for A, I'm sorry, we're going to still stick to A. We're going to close this up here. Okay. And I'll set that aside and then close this part here. We are going to put glue on the back side, okay? And then we're going to attach it to the first, uh, the first flap on panel B, okay? So let's add our glue. You can use tape runner if you'd like. You can use, I prefer liquid glue because liquid glue gives more of a, um, uh, wiggle room when you're gonna put it down. So before it dries up and then, and the one here, I have uh, art glitter glue on this one, but it dries up pretty quickly. Okay, so now I like to make sure that the side here or the bottom over here is right. Okay. And then let's make sure nothing is sticking out. No, we could go ahead and, okay, and then get your all of my pieces of my eraser is all over the place but there we go okay so that's how it's going to be if you would like to make this into a pocket then you would glue it as a u-shape like this i decided not to because i'm going to create small little pockets um and this also makes it more sturdy so the base of uh, the album would make it more sturdy. Okay. Okay. So now that we have our album here, this is the way it's supposed to go. Okay. So I'll close it up. Here's the front. It will open to the left. This will open to the right. And then also we'll flip out again. And then you've got these two that will flip out. Okay. So that's how it works. Now we're going to start building our, or not building, but we're going to start cutting the matte paper. And as you can see for the matte paper, let me explain this to you how I meant. So for the, okay, so we've got our measurements here. And so for the inside panel, and what I mean by that are these four panels here, okay? So that's the inside panel and you've got the measurements for the matte paper and the measurements for the decor paper. And the decor paper is optional if you want to use it. So what's easier is take a piece of paper and cover this so for the matte paper on the inside panel you'll need to cut it at three and three fourths by five and three fourths and you'll need six pieces and here i just made a little note that you'll end up needing one 12 by 12 sheet of paper so you will get the mat for the inside panel okay and so for the back and front uh or the front and back cover You'll also need to cut it at three and three fourths by five and three fourths, and you'll need two of this, okay? And then the half panels are these here inside. So you will cut it at three and three fourths by two and three fourths, and this is the matte paper. You'll need a four of them to cover both sides of this. And I have a little asterisk here. Uh, for these two here so meaning that you can use the same 12 by 12 paper for the front and back cover and also for the half panel and you'll have some scraps save all your scraps because i'm going to have another video a separate video explaining what you can do with those scraps instead of throwing them away okay now when you get to the decor side you cover this side and then you'll know okay so the inside panel this is the dimensions that i cut it and i'll need six pieces and i can get it at uh i can get it from one 12 by 12 okay and the same goes for that 
that just makes it easier for me because I, if I look at too many things, I'll get confused. And so that's why I did it the way I did it. Now the optional would be um, this. And the dimensions that I gave is to be placed on the matte paper. So if you decide that your matte paper is just too pretty, you don't want to cover it up with decorative paper, but you do want to add uh, side tucks and belly bands and pockets, these would be the measurements for this, okay? So, right there. And then I also placed this just to give you the measurements, but you don't need to use this side if you're just going to um, use the matte paper. And then also you decide how many you want to make with this. So if I were you, cut up all this first, put your album together, and then decide whatever scraps you have left to make the pockets and the side tucks. A lot of times the measurements are already going to be cut up for you, so you'll be surprised. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, and then the, also another thing that I forgot to tell you is that go ahead and get yourself some clips. You can use paper clips. You can use small clips. I have these here that I got on Amazon, and I'll try to see if I have that link down below. Um, but these are actually quilters clips that you would cl um, clip the uh, uh, fabric to. So, And I'll show you what I mean because... When I put my fabric together, oh, by the way, before I forget, link is down below for this measurements, okay? So you don't have to worry about or spend extra time on that. Now, I've already cut these up previously, okay? So what I did is this. Let me set these aside. Okay, so I did cut the matte paper and the decor paper together. But I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to put all the matte paper, and then I'm going to put a clip here, okay? So we're going to do this all to the inside panels, okay? And I'll put a clip. And then let's take this. If you have any questions, let me know, too. And I'm hoping that I'm explaining myself very, very well here. Okay. Now, just remember, these fold-out papers, they're going to be part of, they're going to come all the way in. So, I decided to do the same matte paper. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay? So, we're just talking matte paper for now. So, what I do is I just clip it down, whoops, like this before I glue anything down just to make sure that I'm happy with the set the placements if I want to change anything around I can um, we're going to work on the front um, and back side of this as well and so this is the back side here okay and this is the front here okay so this is how the album is going to look with just the matte paper. I think it looks great with this, but there are times where I maybe I want to put a belly band here, or I want to put a side tuck pocket. A belly band would be in the middle here, or a side tuck pocket. That's why I wait to the very end. But if you want to use the matte, the decor paper, and you're okay with that, you don't have to use the whole thing. Okay, um, now all these are pre-cut, but if I decided, okay, I'm not going to put a decor paper on this because I want to add a pocket instead. Well, we can take this. This is not going to be thrown away. We, we can take this and we can actually make it to, you know what, and I'm just going to do it. How about that? We're going to make it into a small little note um, and we can tuck it inside and that could be like a secret note. Okay, or we can put it into the pocket this way and then it could pull out like that. So none of this is going to go to waste. Okay, let's go ahead now and put our, like look how pretty that is. We actually really do not need one of this. It does look nice totally up to you and again if you didn't use this here then you can use it as like put it as a side tuck or put it under a belly band it could still be used is what i'm trying to say so none of it will actually go to waste okay 
Oh, let me put this here. All right. Now again, I look, okay, so, well, I would like to have, well, this one I cut for the front, so yeah, maybe I do want it um, in the front. Or does the front look better with the bees instead? Okay, or should I make it different? You know, the it's totally up to you, but at least you've decided before you glue it down. Okay, so I'm just gonna make these two the same. And then let's see, these back here, I'll do the same. And you know what, before I glue it down, I may change my mind too, so. So there we go, okay. All right, cool. And then these, you know what, maybe I'll just do the two here. Do I have... And then the other two, I will use it as note cards. So I'll set that aside for now, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to do is, before I glue any of this down, do not glue the back part, okay? We need to put our ribbon. So if you decide to put your ribbon, you'll actually need uh, 24 inches or a little bit bigger. I did it four times the the length of it so six times or no four times well four times four would be uh 16 but i still did it at 26 instead because i really wanted that bow so go ahead and let's fold this all together so before you do the back side let's glue everything together okay because we don't want to like undo it, but we're going to glue it down here and then we will go ahead and um, glue the back part. Okay, so I'll show you the first one here, what I'm going to do. So I will glue this here first. Okay, and I just glue it in the middle, making sure that it's uh, about an eighth of an inch all the way across. And make sure that that's down. Where's my bone folder? Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna glue this down. And also an optional thing, if you wanted to make it look more vintage or give it more depth, then go ahead and ink the edges uh, to the color of your choice. A lot of people have a used like a, like a light brown or like a sepia color uh, to do it. And it's beautiful and it makes it look very vintage. Um, but don't be afraid to try other color inks. For example, like I could pick a pink one here or I can pink one of the, the blue or the purple um, just to give it a little bit of interest, make it look a little different. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna glue everything down, okay? So you don't have to see me glue that, and then I will be right back. Okay, folks, so one idea I wanted to give to you right now is that I'm in the process of gluing these down, but I was thinking since I wasn't going to use this for here because I wanted to show off the flowers, what I was thinking of is that if you get like a, a decorative punch of some kind, and if you wanted to make a pocket, which that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make one, I'm gonna create a, a loop notch for it. And I'm gonna actually add this card inside of that. So I can still use that. It's got like a little secret area. Just make sure that when you do it, you have a thin beading of glue, okay? like a thin, thin beading. And then go ahead and put this down. Again, making sure that it's about an eighth of an inch uh, around, okay? And let that dry. If for some reason this card won't fit inside, then I'll just cut a little bit down so I can fit it inside. And uh, if you do have any decorative punches that you wanna use, like. For example, I've got this punch right here that does various corners, and so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and round the corners up just to add more interest to 
the um, cards. I could have done it with this uh, or I could have done it uh, with uh, the other. But yeah, I'm going to wait for that to dry before I put that in. But that is another one. And then also I decided for this one, I'm not going, going to put this bees over here because again, it, it's the pocket that I'm going to use. So, so I'm setting that aside. Okay. All right. I'll finish the rest and then I will come back. Okay, folks. So I'm back and here's the results of what I've done. So we're talking the inside panel here. So I went ahead and I glued this down, even though you see this clip here, it is glued down. I'm just saving it for the front there. Um, but that is the panel there. This is the one that I decided not to use this here because we're going to put a pocket here and that's for another video. These two here, I put it, I glued it down. So these two are glued down here. And then this one here, I did not, I decided not to glue this one down. I'm going to use it as a, a journal card. And then this one here, I'm going to put it inside but I'm going to wait until the glue dries a little bit more here. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one, okay? This one here is glued down. And this one here, I was actually going to glue this down completely, but then I decided last minute, and sorry about that, but last minute I decided that I'm gonna cut this at two inches and then save the other. So I cut it at two inches and then I put a notch here and it's going to be a side tuck. So that's what I decided to do. I still had it um, the same here, having an eighth of an inch going all the way around, but I decided as a side tuck, and I think it looks adorable. This here also is just a regular one, just like the rest. And then this here, the remaining of the two inches, or from this here that I cut the two inches, uh, you remember that strip that I had at the very top? Well, I decided to put the strip on the side there to just add a little bit of interest here. Later on, I may add some more uh, stuff here or bottom, but this actually will be a awesome, awesome looking belly band right there. So I'm going to let the glue dry a little bit and we're going to um, work on that later. But let's go ahead and flip it over to the very front. Okay, so I'm going to leave it flat, flat. Okay, so this is my back panel here, and this is the front panel. And I said not to glue, um, actually, the back panel down, um, but I didn't glue the front panel for a reason. So we're going to put our strip or our, our ribbon here. You can actually use lace if you want to go ahead and do it that way as well. But we'll go ahead, and, and this is the reason why I didn't glue the front panel as well. If you wanted to have the lace underneath this, then it would look really nice. Now this is going to be on the inside. So this is your, your front and your back, okay? And if you wanted to go ahead and cover it, you can. It will be nice and sturdy if it's just the back panel, totally up to you. Or what you can do is just glue it to the back panel, okay? And this will, the ribbon will overlap that. So it just depends on what you want, okay? And then we'll go here and let's measure. So before you glue it down, let's measure, making sure this is nice and flush. And I've got half of my ribbon on the front, half of my ribbon on the back. So I'm happy with that. So now I just need to decide if I want to do with this. Okay, so. I'm going to decide to glue the ribbon also on the bottom of the front cover because I want to see if I can do like this type of embellishment on the front cover, okay? So, and I used lace for this one. So here you go is another reason why you can either use lace or, or ribbon. Um, but I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to make sure that this is glued down. Uh, if you want to use fabric tack for this, you can. I'm just going to use this glue that I have. And what I'll do before I continue, so let's glue this down first, and that's centered. Okay. And get that all going. Perfect. And then I'm going to glue the front cover down.
this is the front. And what we're going to do after we're done gluing is we're gonna put this underneath, like put a book on top of it, just so to make sure that it is glued nice and flat. And we're gonna wait for the glue to dry before we do anything else. And so, yeah, and I made like a little note here only to remind me that I wanted to put a ribbon behind it to use that as a closure or a ribbon closure. So then I know that as I'm gluing all my other panels down, I know, oh wait, stop here. You want to add this before you glue this down. If your glue is still wet, sometimes you can pull it off the paper, but you just need to be careful because you can rip the paper. Now it, it will be hidden but um, you want to avoid that step, step as much as possible. Okay. Okay, that's our back cover. That's our front cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a book on top of this, making sure this is all nice and flat. And I'm going to wait for it to dry, and then we will finish uh, the rest. Okay? We'll finish decorating it, which that's the fun part. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay, well, I am back and it is time to take to do the front here. So the first thing that we're going to do is I made a little thing here. I cut um, this little piece and I ran it through my big shot. Uh, let me show you. The piece measures two and a half by four inches. And we're going to um, glue it down there. But let me show you. Oh, here it is. It is the cutter, the cuddle bug um, folder, embossing folder, and it is from Anna Griffin. I did forget the name of it. I do not know the name of it, but it looks like this here. So this is what I did, and then I also have decorative um, punch here. This is from Marvi Uchida. Um, and this is how it looks like. So I don't have this. Um, if I find something similar to this, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. But I went ahead and I cut the corners or punched the corners and yeah, there you have it. So we're gonna glue this down. So let's glue the back here and a little bit of glue. Now I like to just put it in the middle because in the, if I decide to put something in between, I'll have the room still for that. But I'm gonna put it in the top corner, making sure that there's about an eighth, eighth of an inch on the top and the side. Okay, oops. And I prefer to use liquid glue because like I said, it gives you the freedom to move it around if you need to, okay? Now I'm gonna grab this little um, image that I found, but I'm going to use my ticket punch that I have. This is an old one from Stampin' Up. If you're interested, um, you may need to find it. I'm only going to do the bottom because this part is going to be um, covered up. Oh, and let's put some adhesive foam here. Some 3D foam dots here from 3L. I don't know if I have any more of this. If I do, I'll put the link down below. Um, but any kind of uh, foam dot will do for this, um, for what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna prop it up a little bit, give it some dimension and some interest. Okay. All right, and those two, uh, this one here and that ticket punch works really well. I like the way that turned out. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do is create a Fobo. I've got this um, here that I still have, and I'm going to use the same one. Now, a Fobo, what you do is you would fold it twice like this, okay? And then you're going to end up pinching the side. Let's bring this out here. Pinching uh, the middle, excuse me, not the side, the middle, and then bring it out, and then... Get yourself like a clip, okay? And then we will, let's see if we can get a little bit more here. There we go, perfect. 
bring that out get a clip and get some some kind of twine hold that down the middle let me set this aside hold that i'm going to use this twine here that i um actually this is from this petal loo that we're going to add and i took out the the twine that was there and i'm going to uh reuse it and no one's going to see this twine by the way we're going to just cut it down and this will hold it in in place okay okay now let's see now let's cut this perfect okay yes i do like that all right let me get my scissors here and we're going to cut it straight straight meaning like to make it look like really nice and polished and finished if you cut it straight to how your bow is it just makes it look really nice okay now this one here let me cut the, the ends off and this is thrown away so there's our faux bow and i still have this um this and other colors so i'll leave the link down on my online store but We'll go ahead and I'm going to end up, um, I'll have this here. And what I plan to do is take these. This is from Petaloo, um, from the Botanica collection. And I still have some of this also in my uh, online store. So I'll put that down. So let's see, we're going to put that. We're going to put this in the middle. I'll go ahead. I need to... Um, hot glue gun this so I will be right back okay folks here you go I went ahead and I added this um, both of these behind there and then I added two of the flowers uh, that are the same and then one that's just a little bit different and then I added the other flower there and then also um, what I decided to do is add these two here. Now those two are actually the diamond dots. So my cousin Debbie tried to get me into diamond art, but you know what? I need to I need to stick with one kind of hobby. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just spend way too much money and just have no time for one or the other. So in the end, but um, I did a diamond art painting with her, and in the end, I had so much diamond art left over that I use it now for my paper craft. So there's an idea that if you, um, you or anybody you know that did diamond art but have a lot of supplies left over, especially the diamond paintings, um, the diamond dot itself, then yeah, go ahead and use it on your paper craft. But there we have it. So I'm going to flip this here and flip these here. And then in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use up all of the scraps that we did. So stay tuned for that. That would be video number two. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, and please give my channel a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And it does help me uh, with YouTube. And also, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.